Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Attila Total War campaign using the Visigoths faction. My name is XNL115 as always and well last time we advanced further into the Western Roman Empire and liberated this settlement here and now we gotta figure out what we're gonna be doing now because uh, obviously we've got two armies here but not very, I mean it's only general uh, yeah, it's nothing there. Do we just continue down towards Iberia? Do we go north first, Saxon walled cities, and then go down to Iberia? Uh, first of all, let's get this. Rank gained. That's Ready great. Did we already assign it to you last turn or not? Yes, it looks like we did it last turn. Okay. Uh, we sacked Vienna. Okay, good. Battle of Vienna decisive, faction countered this random guy here. Right, so we encountered you guys all the way over there. Makes sense. <laughs> but uh, yes, so we ended off at the end of a turn I believe, with you guys unable to move. Uh, how is your... How are you, how are you doing there? Okay, you guys are doing well. You are doing this. We're going to need 2,500 to be able to do that. We're a little bit short of it, so that means we're going to have to go plundering. But for now, we'll just end this turn here. And uh, continue on our path. With this ally down here that we've liberated in this walled city, we've got a strong base for the invasion of Gaul if we chose to do it that way. We could ride out... And if need be, we could retreat back down to uh, back down to this place here, and have our allies help us. That's one. That's one option. The other option, like I said, is just to abandon Gaul, abandon this area, and to just focus on Iberia. And while that idea is appealing, I do also like the idea of lots of loot. Not only for the fact that it's more money that we will be able to take before the other horde factions get there, but also is being the fact that we do actually need loot to be able to advance in our technologies, such as the one we're about to start researching now. So I think the next, I think the next immediate move, though, will be to sack the city just to the left of X. X Aquas XTA. Probably butchering the pronunciation of that, but oh well. There you go. Our ancestors Military have spoken, alliance. and they have named you as true friends. Huh. Well, we're at war with all the same people that you are, so I guess so. My work. We just have somebody else to fight with us against the uh, empires. But uh, don't go expecting us to join in with all your wars. We are a very self serving faction here. Dacia. I remember when we liberated them a while back. How are they doing, I wonder? Whatever they're doing, it's taken a while. Okay, moving on. Action destroyed. Huh. Sucks, I guess. Okay, that was the flogging one, wasn't it? Yes, okay. So here's the thing. We need money for that, but we don't have it. Have it in a few turns, but not right now. So I guess... We'll just go for this one for now. Unless there's something that we could go for apart from that. No, we'll go for that. What's this bonus here? Nice extra movement. That would be nice to have. Capacity and replenishment. Sanitation. Wealth. And tax rate. Cool. Okay. 
Uh, you guys are training. They're replenishing pretty quickly, aren't you? You'll only need a few more turns. I mean, you guys are already gotten, uh, done and gone there now. So you guys might as well go back to normal here. On the move, lads. You and have further orders? You guys might as well. You can't. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just put Get you here. Moving. Your next command. Next turn, you're gonna cross over. You can Warriors cross over, can't you? Get moving. Yep. Starting we'll have out. you go like this. Ready Does for that battle. take away the effects of the uh, rivalry? If we have them in different provinces, or is that just going to be uh, just proximity in general? I guess we'll find out. But you're going to take two turns. Oh well, you only have one. Another thing is how long until the next stage of the uh, Attila, uh, you know, storyline. You spawned a few parts ago. Who's attacking here? Wait, who's this? The Franks. I didn't know we were allied with the Franks. Decline. Now it'd be great if you guys could just not. I mean, I'd like to have somewhere to... It, it, that sells it. We're going to have just to rush for Iberia to get there ahead of all the other factions. I didn't know if France would be this far south already. Seems you're really having it hard up there. Look what the Saxons are doing. Oh, hello, uh, big old Roman armies there. Now, that's the third option. Do we stay here? Do we eradicate these two armies? Because if we do, that would be a gigantic blow against the Roman armies. And if we did it here now, we would have extra forces on our side. We have our ally. I do not hold with overlong talk, preferring the uh, axis edge as an argument. So listen, and then agree. Sure, I guess. Anything to strengthen the union against Rome and uh, the Huns? This is a state. Well. Um, should we go for it? We'll accept it offer, I suppose. For now. But we do have enough money to do this quickly, so we're going to do that. And then go into that. No, you can't stack it? Okay. Oh well. So we'll do that. And Ready apparently that battle. does indeed remove the rivalry by just moving them into the next province. You guys are at war with the... Uh, Romans, right? You guys aren't. But you are our allies. Be Would most you be welcome. willing to Your join words the war will against find an attentive audience. Damn. Oh well. So I guess that means that... Uh, we're just going to have to keep on advancing. Because I wouldn't be wanting to fight him if we uh, weren't with allies there. We'll attack here. They really shouldn't have any forces. Apparently they survived, did they? Uh, we'll auto-resolve this, uh, shall we? No, we'll fight it. We'll fight it. Just because we don't want any silly losses. We really want to keep as many men as we can. Heck, maybe we're going about this the whole wrong way by advancing headlong into the enemy territory instead of skirting around the sides, but gotta go for it. 
I reckon once we get down to uh, Iberia, we'll be safe for, for a, a uh, short period of time, at least. Anyway. I think we're going to uh, raise this city here. Completely destroy it. Start to make a bit of a wall between us and the Romans in the behind us there. It'd be great if the uh, Romans decided to attack that city there. Our short-lived allies would most likely fall but it would buy us time to get away. On the other hand, if they actually did attack us, uh, if they did attack that city and they received it, we might be inclined to uh, turn our armies around and join in the defense of that city just to crush those armies. I like that idea actually a lot. Okay, we'll have everybody group up over here. We don't have any cavalry, which is unfortunate. That's our own doing. God, what, get rid of your giant rocks, God. <laughs> so much for maintenance of the area. Battle group disbanded. Okay. Start the battle. We hunger for blood and you not reach it yet? Is it just outside your range? Yeah, it looks like it's just outside. That's unfortunate. Get the flaming rams. We don't need that group. They have cavalry, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Run there, guys! Come on. Fools! Wiser men would flee before our numbers. form up with the swords in front, the infantry in front, and the can and the archers behind. Just because of that uh, infantry, that not infantry, the cavalry that they've got there. Warriors ready! Take a shot of that. Nice hit there. Yeah, really got them well. Yeah, so that's almost half of them gone with that one volley. Our general is under attack. Oh well. He'll he'll be able to stand for now. I think we'll have to get some for the uh, other army as well. Be really good. Okay, barrage that place as well, please. Ah, so close, so close to a good attack. Maybe we can set the trees alight. Great. There they are. There's the others. Broken, right? 
I'm just assuming you're right for now. The enemy tower is no more. The fire rises. The enemy city smolders. Good to hear. Let's have everybody firing at them. Good shot. That hammer and anvil uh, with infantry is not quite as effective as it is with cavalry, but uh, it'll do. It'll have to do. You're still fighting? No, you're broken. You guys are gone as well. I think you should probably run for, for now, though, guys. Oh, you got another unit up there. I didn't even see. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Which one? Not that one there. Okay, you guys can form up there. That'd be great. You guys can go and shoot these guys. Turn into a whistling butcher and just knock the rest of that morale down. There we go. Don't have to target the unit themselves so much sometimes, you can target their morale. It works just as well. Fire those guys, if you please. Forward. You can turn that Let's back go. on. And yeah, just just finish them. You guys get experience, that'd be great. So used to playing, uh, I did uh, lots of bulk cards in for the third age series there. That I'm just used to having only Ballista for now. It's so refreshing to actually have some catapults. Because Ballista, they get the job done sometimes, but they're not as good as the catapults in my opinion. Oh, that hurts. That would that one hurt. You'll feel that one in the morning. Just speed this up. I don't want you and your little shuffle forwards there, but probably still. It's really not working out for you. Oh, now that was devastating. Oh my god, that went from 80 to 15. So quickly. Victory! <laughs> this is your day! That was a nice shot from the catapults there. You want one more volley? Go on. Go on. Finish him up. One more, come on. Come on there, bud. Final shot. Are you gonna hit any? Oh, those guys right. right. <laughs> well, I think we'll end the battle there, guys. Decisive victory indeed. End the battle. Thank you very much. We lost 106, killed 358. Eh, could have been better, but oh well. That last, that second to last volley from the catapult sword, that was really bad for them. They really got smashed for that one. Shows the value of having the catapults. Maybe we will just turn on them and uh, fight the Romans there. Uh, I, I guess it will all depend on their turn there now. See what they do. But for now, say goodbye to Narbo. Because it just doesn't exist anymore. For the tribe! All that land just gone. Thirsty for battle. There we go. So you guys can you you guys have run On out of move, movement speed. Lads. Okay. You guys can you advance at all? Yes, you can. 
Okay, we'll move. We'll move actually, just to this side. Get moving. So my thinking is, if they attack us, if they bypass the, the city here and attack us, they'll have to attack across a river, which would be very nice for us to deal with. But that's going to be in the next episode there, guys. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends who would enjoy this series. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.